Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up HP SmartTank 670 multifunctional printer. I will show you how to prepare your printer to work, how to connect to computer, to smartphone and how to use basic features. So let's get into it right now. Before software setup you pretty much want to load some paper and fill the tanks of your printer to be able to print something. So to load paper, uh, pull the paper tray towards you, you need to apply a bit of force. Uh, then you have two paper guides here. You can press on this lever to bring them closer together or spread apart. So set the width to maximum to load A4 or letter size paper and just push the paper stack inside until it meets some resistance. Then align with the paper guides and push the paper tray back until it gets fixed in the place like this. Next, the ink tanks on my printer are already full, however, if you need to fill tanks, take a look at the left side of your printer. Here you have this notch, so stick your finger into it and open the ink access door until it gets fixed in the place. Now you can see black ink tank on the left side and color ink tanks on the right side, protected with a lid. So open this lid, same on the left side. And then just open this head, just press on this lever and push it back like this. And here you can see this pipe and this is the actual opening for pouring in the inks. Next, take the ink bottle and twist open it like this. Uh, as you can see, nothing spills out when you just turn it upside down. So you need just align the neck of the bottle with this small tube and press it down. A new bottles have the plastic protection, white protection over here. So if the bottle is new, you need to apply some power and press down until you hear a click. And then the ink will pour out to the tank. Control the ink level in this window and just remove the bottle once you've filled the tank completely. Repeat this action for each color tank, then close everything. Close this hat, close this lid, close that lid. And finally, close the ink access door. Just push it down like this. And extend the paper output tray and your printer is ready to be connected to your computer or smartphone. Next, make sure your printer's control panel looks like this. The power indicator is on, the Wi-Fi indicator is blinking, and the Wi-Fi indicator on the LCD display is also blinking like this. And to connect your printer, you need to install HP Smart application. And what I like is that this application has unified interface across all platforms, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android. And the setup process is about the same on any computer or smartphone. But I prefer computers because uh, printers without displays sometimes have problems connecting to smartphones. However, after computer connection, uh, add your printer to any smartphone is pretty easy and success is 100% guaranteed. So uh, go to Microsoft Store or App Store on your computer, then install HP Smart application, open it, click on yes in this window if you see it, uh, accept all terms and, con and conditions or decline optional data, which I actually prefer. And then click on set up a new printer. Uh, allow precise location permission. This is necessary to set up your printer. So click yes. It's searching for printers. Make sure your computer is connected to Wi-Fi if you want to uh, set up wireless connection or connect your printer via USB cable. So once your printer is found, click on that icon and continue. Now the printer wants to have access to your Wi-Fi password to set up everything automatically. If you click on no thanks, you have to enter your Wi-Fi password manually in this field, but I prefer to do everything automatically, so click continue. Uh, now they say press and release the flashing information button on your printer. So here is the button, press this button. And the printer is connected to Wi-Fi as you can see, so click continue. Uh, 
Uh, in next window, also accept all or decline optional data. And now I recommend you to sign in to your HP account or create one if you don't have, because anyway, if you want to use this application to print and scan, especially to scan, uh, you need to uh, have, you, they force you to have an account. So um, click on sign in or create account if you don't have one. Enter your username and password. Sign in. And in this pop-up, click on Open HP Smart. You can minimize your browser now. Uh, next, enable auto-update, which is recommended because you pretty much want to use the latest firmware for your device. Now you can send installation link to other devices or uh, install this application manually on other devices you wish to use with this printer. Uh, so let's skip for this example. And also you can print a test page, but we also skip in this because I will show you how to print a bit later. Uh, now your computer is connected and here is the interface of the application. Uh, to enter your printer settings, just click on its image. Here is the printer settings. Uh, you can print, scan, print photos, and in other words, just explore this menu. Let's connect the printer to smartphone now. And what you need is also just install HP Smart application. Make sure your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, where you set up uh, your printer. Then open HP Smart. Don't forget to log into your HP account to be able to use all that features. Then tap on Setup or Add Printer and just tap on Already Connected to Network because your printer is already connected. And just tap on the printer's model, on the printer's series. Um, you can ignore this window. It doesn't matter. So your printer is added to your smartphone and now you can use the printer from both devices, your computer and your phone. Uh, let's try to print something. Let's print documents. As you can see, you can connect your cloud services to this application, print from Dropbox, Google Drive, and so on. But for this example, let's just print from our file system in smartphone. So tap on all files, then select a file you wish to print. Let's say this one. Uh, then tap on print preview and swipe up to change print settings. Uh, set your paper size, how many copies do you want to make, but uh, the point is your printer must be selected here. Make sure the correct printer is selected. Uh, private pickup, the printer will start print when you are nearby with your smartphone uh, to pick up personally. Um, next, set your print quality, draft normal or best. Page range, which pages of this document do you wish to print? All of them or maybe just some of them. Like this, you can deselect pages you don't want to print, or you can use manual input, input range, or input comma separated values like this, uh, or select all. In other words, select pages you want to print. Color options, select color or grayscale or black only. And enable two-sided uh, printing, short edge or long edge. Uh, long edge is, is for booklets, short edge is for uh, two-sided large documents like full A4 size or letter size. And just click on print and wait for the printer to do its job. By the way, this printer is capable of printing on both sides automatically. So now it will give us the first side and then take the page back and print on the second size and you don't have to t turn page manually. To scan documents, open the scanning unit lid and place your document facing down like this and make sure the top left corner of your document is aligned with the top left corner of the scanning surface. You have this like shaded corner over here. So align the document like this, then fit snugly to the borders and close the lid. 
Next, in HP Smart Application, find Printer Scan Tile. Then adjust your scanning settings. Tap on this drop down first. Set your page size or switch to entire scan area to adjust edges later. Set uh, scanning quality. Set mode, color or grayscale. Uh, hit down to save your changes. Then also you can tap on this gear icon and enable auto enhancements. Improve the color and contrast. Auto heal. You can read about this as well. Remove distracting marks and so on. Enable auto orientation just in case you've put the image upside down. Um, flatten book pages. So adjust the settings as well. Hit done and select what you're scanning from this panel. Just swipe left and right to switch between different items. We are scanning documents. So we are all set. Just tap on scan. And here is your scan result. You can detect edges. You can use auto detection or switch to full or switch to flatten mode. Uh, flatten and auto detect works not so good. So let's switch to full and also you can adjust edges manually. Just drag these dots to adjust edges. Uh, anyway, uh, later you can crop your document. So hit next. And right away you can add the next page to your document. You can add as many pages as you need. So let's click on add. But this time let's switch source. What I like in this application, you can switch to camera or select images for, from your files and photos. Um, let's switch to camera and uh, scan document with our smartphone. Allow access to the camera. And you have two options. You can manually take pictures of your pages uh, to convert them into scans or enable auto mode at the top and the edges will be detected automatically. And then you can replace the page right away and scan the next page. So it's very fast. You can scan a bunch of documents just in a minute. Then disable auto mode to stop scanning and tap on this thumbnail to go to edit mode. In the edit mode, you can reorder pages. Just drag and drop to reorder like this. Done to save your changes. You can rotate pages. Just select pages you wish to rotate and press this button to rotate them together. Hit done to save. You can extract text. Select your language over here. Continue. It's extracting text and you can copy the text over here. Let's go back. Also, we can swipe left and scribble on your pages. First, select your page. Let's say this one, tap on that. And you can create new mark. Select thickness. Draw your mark on the screen, something like this. Or select text and add text, and then save. And then drag the mark on the page. Change size like this. Also, you can add marks from saved marks. Each mark will be saved in this menu. So now let's go back. Also, at the top right corner of each page, you can see three dots. You can tap on that, delete page, replace page with another one or edit. Uh, in edit menu, you can crop each page to a standard size or uh, crop manually. Just drag the corners to set the size. Uh, hit done. You can adjust brightness, colors, and so on. Apply filters, add text to each page, mark up, auto enhance pages, and so on. So do it for each page you need to do this. Uh, and once you're done scanning and editing, just tap on share slash save over here, or you can print the document right away or use printing shortcuts. So uh, let's save the document for this example. Uh, you can use smart file name, whatever it means. And not so smart. So you can rename your file if you need. Uh, you can select file format. Uh, remember, PDF only supports multi-page files. So for this example, we need specifically PDF. And set file size. It's, it's going to be actual or you apply some compression to your file to reduce size. And once you're done, tap on continue and take, it takes you to the system dialog, uh, save to files, select location, let it be in documents, okay, and hit save. 
And no, you don't have to use HP Smart application each time you need to print or scan something. Feel free to use third-party application for printing and scanning, like professional applications, paid applications, uh, and so on. HP Smart is just for first setup and basic needs. And guys, that's pretty it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any question, comment below and be awesome. See you in the next videos. Bye, guys.